Welcome to the weekly roundup on SA Football TV. I'm Tommy Javor with Paul Manuel. Welcome back, Paul. Thank you, TJ. It's good to be back. And why not? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're I'm, here. Here. I'm here, guys. We're going to get Thanks to all our great sponsors. Thanks to the Portland Hotel. who put us up every week and provide us with a studio in the middle of the front bar. Um, <laughs> it's always interesting. Hey, uh, apologies for my voice, but uh, hopefully we'll have it right. Bit of honey and bit of lemon and bit of stuff because this week is our first ever live call. It's at Pertering Oval, Tea Tree Gully versus PNU. How can you listen to it? Well, quite simply, you go to Mixler, that's M-I-X-L-R.com.au, and download the Saffle Radio app. It's going to be huge. Hopefully we're going to be calling live games all around the Amateur League uh, in the years to come. It's, it's the maiden voice this week. It'll be rusty, we've, but we look forward to it. It's an exciting new challenge, boys. I'm sure you'll both be listening in. Yep, certainly will be. No worries. Now, boys, I don't want to brag, but it's another um, division where I got full marks. Oh, I'm sick of hearing 20, about 28 out of 29. No one's ever done that I've before. I've been back one week. Yep. I'm sick of hearing about that. Well, you know, you, oh, but it's never going to happen again. So. <laughs> and our first game, well, this is the one that I nearly got wrong because Hope Valley gave them a massive scare, Eastern Park. It was Hope Valley 13, 13, 91, Eastern Park. Just ran over the top of them. 15, 6, 96. Better players for Hope Valley and Gold. Uh, tank. Tank sauce, is it? Tank sauce? Yeah. Tank sauce, Daniel Tank sauce. He's ex, uh, ex in the farm boy. Is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> um, Still with a couple, Williamson with two, and Daniel kicked five, by the way. And Dowling, Williamson, and Tank sauce in the best in the best players for Hope Valley. And for Eastern Park, Manson with four, McIver with four, Freeman with a couple, Butler, McIver, and Warren in the best players for Eastern Park. Um, gee, they nearly kicked, they kicked themselves out of it, didn't they, Hope Valley? <laughs> they did. Look, it was interesting. I uh, I saw recently uh, Jed Pfeiffer from Hope Valley. He's uh, taking his daughter to swimming lessons at Clovercrest State Swim, and very important. Everyone gets to Clovercrest State Swim, teaches their child to swim because water safety is no joke. That's Clovercrest State Swim. There you go. So they still, they're still going to charge you twenty five. <laughs> How much did you get for that? <laughs> it's our family business. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What was I saying? Uh, yeah, so, uh, Hope Valley, uh, Jed at 28, is the third oldest player. I think only Steely and Dougie are older than him. Uh, so they're a young team, they're developing, new coach. So look, they've, they've been very competitive the last two weeks, but you know how it is, it's a bit like, or well, the Bays for lack of a term. Yes. We, you've got yes. to get those wins and unfortunately Eastern Park have got over them. So, tough luck. So another one's just slipped away. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Kicked five goals straight in the last quarter. Eastern Park the win. Yep, and good kicking mm. is... Good footy. Uh, that's right. No, we haven't, we haven't lost it. Our next one um, was very, very easy to pick. Easier to pick than something on Hanson Road. He's definitely right. It was Edwardstown, 16-20, defeated Kenilworth, 10 goals, 7. Uh, goal kickers, Edwardstown, Harding kicked 5. So did Parsons and 2 to Blythe. For Kenilworth, Chester kicked 2. Ooh. Diamondopolis. Diamondopolis. Diamondopolis, I got that right. And Liverton kicked two. Best players for Edwardstown was Kerr, Cleggett and Chesser. That was That's for Kenworth. Kenworth, sorry. And for Edwardstown, Mulvaney, Mulvaney Harding, Harding and Woolard. 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 Well done. Nailed that. Jeez, that's, I did that real well, didn't I? Not. Yes. Now, this is the reason why I am proud of myself, because I tipped this one and others didn't. I said uh, North Haven are the real deal, and eventually they'll prove it. Well, they did. And a very narrow win. 7-13-55 to Salisbury, 7-6-48. Bit of controversy uh, floating around about this one, Paul, or not? You're not commenting? I'm we not going to comment. comment. It's just a few rumours floating around about it. But, um, yeah, North Haven. Uh, was it on the fantasy forums, by any chance? No. Just a few people not happy. Yeah, few we'll just leave it at that, eh? Yeah, not happy. But uh, oh, what I am happy about is Tommy Lipson yep. coming back, playing for North Ham, kicked the goal after four knee recons. Well done, Lippo. Yeah, that is fantastic. Yep. Speaking of goal kickers, Hinsley was the only multiple. And, but you know what? It's really interesting to read North Haven's individuals. I don't normally do that because it's a who's who of the, their recruiting stops. Yep, yep. Cocciaro, Reed, Pedersen, Rowe, Lipson. That's some good footballers. I said when they all get together and they start playing together, they won't be beaten. Yep. Their better players were Rowe, Cocciaro, Howden. Um, that's yep. Jeff Howden. Yep. Yep. Uh, Merritt and Cochrane. Cochrane. Um, 
Right. I'm going to do that this morning when I wake up. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, oh, I know what you're throwing. Um, <laughs> Tommy, oh. Tommy. Oh. <laughs> I just uh, keep three. Reminds me of that outtake. Anyway. <laughs> and a multitude of singles for Salisbury. Uh, Roe, McPherson and Fleming. Scotty McPherson, that was. You mentioned Horgis with three, did you? I did. I was a bit hoarse. Well, yeah. Horgis. Horgis. <laughs> uh, and our last game of the round. Did you do a Horgis? A bit hoarse. Our last game of the round was. Oh, it was Westminster, Old Scholars and Colonel Lake Garden. So this was our game of the round. And Westminster were too good. 13-13-91. Colonel Lake Gardens, 8-13-61. A good 30-point win there. It was a very good win. Um, Westminster starting to hit their straps. Yep. Uh, Fisher with five. Taborski with four for Westminster multiple goal kickers. And Newman, Goods and Bleasing um, in the best players for Westminster. Colonel Lake Gardens, Scott Collings with two. Glenn Elwood. Yeah, Bowen with a couple. And Rhodes, Napier, and Corey uh, in the best players. Yeah. Yeah. Predictable now, result. Yeah, so Westminster, we expected big things, and there's a lot of talk about their clearances in the offseason. So, former Goody Saints player uh, went across to become coach. He's bought in Tasborski, Fisher. There's a lot of talk about um, about Tucky going Tucky. across. Really? Yeah, yeah, so he was the big signing apparently in the offseason. And then there was some more talk on the fantasy forums that. No, he's back at Goodies. Goodies, yeah, that's right, Head. Incorrect. Yeah. He's not playing footy this year. Um, he's actually resigned from coaching the Glenelg 2 3s as well. Yep. He's having a year of footy, doing some stuff. Uh, boxing. Oh, he was boxing. Didn't go so good. They didn't go to plan, did it? No. I was wondering whether he went back. No, I'm not sure. Uh, but he, you know, he just needs some time off to, uh, you know, it's going to be a family. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> Read, so, but, you know, battery. it's funny, you're real. Like he, he actually found it hilarious that he read all these rumours. He's like, where do these come from? So he won't be at Westminster this year. And, um, and he won't be at Goodison. No, he okay. won't be. So that's good news for Div 1 today. <laughs> <It is. laughs> yes. So, yeah. All right. uh, and it's only the four games in Div 4, of course. So uh, let's get on, uh, have a little look at the ladder, just the nine teams and teams. It's hard. I, I don't like just, it. Just before, Paraka, who had the bye, were at Ingle Farm on the weekend, watching our game. Why? Why wouldn't they go and watch a game that they're playing this one? Why wouldn't you just get a keg and put it on your club? Well, they, they came up the road. So, anyway. Are we sponsored by any beers? Yes. Yeah. Uh, sort of blob there somewhere. Could have been onto the uh, Clavey. Or the Land of Promise. Yes, Land, Land of, of Promise. Oh, I tell you what. But the Clavey's a sponsor as yep. well. It's not far away. Yep. Uh, so the latter is, is, it's interesting reading. So Westminster at the top and Kenilworth at the bottom of the only teams to have played seven. Um, it's a bit of a logger jam. A logger jam, not yeah. a log jam. Uh, it's, anyone's, it's anyone's game in Div 4, so we're not going to analyse that too much. Let's have a quick look at the goal kickers, Wayne, um, because... Uh, Shawnee Mantle there with 32, and Taborski with 27, and Cohen Matler there with 25. Beautifully done. And this week's games, gentlemen, what sticks out for you? What tickles your fancy? Edwardstown Eastern Park will be a cracker. Yep, probably a game of the round. We'll start yep. there. At Edwardstown Oval, Edwardstown uh, have done nothing wrong since stepping into this thing, this division, this league as well. This thing. This thing. This, this, thing, this whole thing new adventure that they're on. They sit second. Eastern Park sit fourth. If Eastern Park win, though, they can go as high as second. Yep. What a game. Big drive for Eastern Park, though. Yep. Yeah, uh, and Eastern Park. They might be getting the 2 2 6 down together. They could be, <laughs> yes. Yes, they could be. They could be. Um, townies for me. Yeah, townies for me. Yeah, unanimous town verdict. North Haven and Paraka. Paraka coming off their week off at the farm. That, that maybe, they've found, <laughs> maybe they've found inspiration, but. Uh, well, they probably did. But anyway, uh, North Haven for me. Yeah, yeah North Haven for me. We could list off the same people. Just starting to, the, yeah. starting to click now. If they play it's a good team footy together, they'll beat almost anyone. Yeah. Stevens Wet Cup next at Colonel Light and Kenilworth. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Colonel Light and Kenilworth can Kenilworth get their first win? No. 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 Are we sure? Definite yes. no. Yes. What about if Blake Moser comes back and fires up? No. Daniel Scott Collins and Ty Corey will absolutely tear him a new one. I'll take Colonel Light Gardens. Yep. <laughs> um, Salisbury and Hope Valley. It'd be interesting to see how Hope Valley uh, go up at Salisbury. It's a big ground, so maybe the younger Hope Valley team, their legs could. Uh, Provide a challenge, but I think Salisbury too strong will be uh, filled by last week's result. It's my upset of the week. Yeah, Hope Hopefully. Valley with me. And I'm going to go for Hope Valley as well. Well, hey, I've talked you into it. No. No. Okay, don't forget about our, our live call this week. Thanks for watching the weekly roundup. Thanks again to all our great sponsors, and we'll be back next week.